so good to be outside getting some fresh air. Today is Saturday and I'm not 100% better like I thought I would be, but I have such cabin fever. So I will be going out today. Um, I know I'm not feeling 100%, but I just, can y'all see me? I wanna share some holiday outfit ideas today in the afternoon after I get my rest in. And um, then I'm gonna go find gifts for my grandparents. I have a few more suggestions that I think I'm gonna try. Um, and then I wanna go out to eat. I really wanted to go to Applebee's and get their dollar margarita. And I think I might still do that. I'm just concerned that it's not going to be strong enough because it's a dollar. <laughs> so I will check back in with you guys. Ah, Chloe, in the afternoon. Chloe. Okay, I have made my gel manicure for next week. I found the cutest design. Um, I love when you guys post your nails on Instagram because it gives me inspiration. Like you guys know, when I went to the nail salon, I had an idea of what, what I wanted on my nails, but they didn't have the color. And I'm kind of over these nails, so I'm going next week. And I'm going to get something a little more festive and I'm super, super excited. So I just had to change my appointment because um, the whole gang is going with me next week. So that will be fun. Come on, Chloe. Let me not say that too much because the gals already think all I do is nag my dog all day long. Though she is my dog and I take care of her. Whew. You guys just have no idea. Um the things like if you're not a youtuber you just have no clue what we go through to and this is not just for me this is for anybody for those of you who feel the need to just be negative all the time and nasty towards people it really just says more about you than anyone else it just makes you look dumb and bitter and that's the truth but anyway <laughs> I'm gonna have some orange juice, make some tea, probably watch a Christmas movie, because y'all know I have been like all into Christmas movies. Start my day. Good morning. Today is International Tea Day. It's also National Cupcake Day. Yummy. In other words, it's the perfect day to partake in afternoon tea. Mm. So until then I say, cheerio. Yes. Alexa, Currently, stop. Well, you heard Alexa. Your girl has spoken. It's International Tea and Cupcake Day. I'm having my tea. Now I have to go get a cupcake. <laughs> no, I'm not going to though because I plan on having dessert when I go out to eat today. I feel like I'm so hungry. Do you guys ever feel like after being sick, you just feel like famished? I just feel like I haven't eaten in days. I mean, I'm not mad at it because I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, hey, stomach. You're on flat, flat. I like that. Do you think you deserve a Christmas cookie muffin? Sit. Sit. Good girl. Looks like you deserve one. Sit. Sit. Thank you. Sit. Chloe. This is Home Alone 3. Another one of my favorite holiday movies. A lot of people don't like Home Alone Pass 1 and 2, but I like them all. Have you guys realized that in all the Home Alone movies, there's always an older, scary character that um, Kevin is always afraid of that ends up helping him in the end. The first movie was the old guy, the neighbor. The second movie it was the woman, the pigeon lady in the park. And this third movie is Mrs. Hess. I just thought that was so cute. Like these are things I realized now that I'm almost 30 that I didn't realize when I was younger. 
I love these movies. Okay, let's put you guys up here. So, it's time for some skincare. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that on Sundays, sorry, <laughs> on Sundays I like to do skincare, but I have been neglecting my face for a couple of days just because I've been sick and when I'm sick, I like to spend a lot of time resting and so I haven't done my full nighttime routine or daytime routine in probably half a week. Uh, but every Sunday I like to concentrate on skincare. It's just something I like to do. It's kind of relaxing. You can do a mask while you're reading a book. And I just think it's a good way to start off your week with fresh, renewed, vibrant skin. And it kind of just puts you on a track to continue that during the week. So, because I haven't done my skincare routine and I've been having a lot of breakouts, I'm going to use one of my favorite masks. This is the Ula Henriksen Moment of Truth 2-in-1 Polishing Sugar Mask. That's a mouthful. This is one of my favorite, favorite masks for the fall and winter time. It exfoliates, it hydrates, it brightens, it softens, it refines the texture of your skin, of course, because it's a manual exfoliation. I love this product, so I'm going to use this today. And this is the first time I've actually used it since buying it with the Sephora sale. I'm also going to change my top just because I don't want to wear long sleeves and get this dirty. Okay, so I just put on my little favorite black tank, which I will link down below. One thing I also wanted to tell you guys is I had this conversation with one of my friends in the comment section, I believe, on a, a couple of videos back maybe. If you are plus size, I would recommend that you don't limit yourself to only shopping plus size stores. Um, a lot of the clothes I wear come from straight size stores such as Express or Old Navy or Target. Um, it's all about the fit of items. So this is like a really nice lightweight sweater from Express 111. And I wore this. I wore this like last Saturday, I believe, when I went to my nephew's birthday party. And this is a size extra large but because of the fit of it and because of the loose flowy material you can wear this from probably a large to like a size 20 like so don't be afraid to shop straight size stores like a lot of my lounge clothes come from stores that only go up to like an extra large sometimes it's just good to know Whew, I'm out of breath y'all this cold sometimes it's good to just know the fit of items so like if I'm going to be shopping at Victoria's Secret for some lounge or sleepwear it's important for me to know to look for relaxed styles because they're more forgiving so I just wanted to throw that out there so I'm going to put this on my face I do like using something to apply it just because I don't like digging my hand in something this is one of those little bra clips to make any bra eraser back and I'm just going to spread an even layer of this all over my face. I promise you guys, if you have not tried out this mask and you are troubled with textured skin and dryness, try this mask out. A couple of you ladies have told me that you've since purchased it and you like it as well. It is honestly one of my favorites and I can automatically tell a difference right after using it. Those are the type of products I like to invest in. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish spreading this mask on and I'm going to let this sit for about 30 minutes and then I will wash it off. And while I'm letting this sit, I'm actually going to clean up a bit because since being sick, I have not been able to straighten up. So I'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys in 30 minutes.
Okay, so I went ahead and washed the mask off. So after I leave it on for 30 minutes, after that time, it will be nice and melted into your skin and then I manually just exfoliate and rub it around and then I rinse it off with a, um, with a wet washcloth. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the rest of my skincare routine for like a skincare day. I'm also going to use my Ordinary Glycolic Acid Solution. It's definitely not necessary because I just exfoliated it, but I feel like it can't hurt. And this is a Shiseido Cotton Square. I love these little facial cotton. Then I'm going to use my Day Serum, which is my Dior One Essential. I always talk about how I'm not necessarily so impressed with this product anymore. When I first used it, I was, but it's too expensive to just discard. Okay, next I'm going to use my Belief Aqua Balm. This is my favorite fall and winter moisturizer for oily skin which I have and I love it because as soon as I put it on it just feels so cushiony and soft on my skin it hydrates me like no other the scent is very light and fresh I absolutely love it Ugh, I have like sugar in my bra <laughs> Ugh, I will be showering right after this but goodness this mask definitely will get everywhere. And then sometimes after I do my skincare, I like spraying my Fix Plus. Is this a necessity? No, but it's kind of cute to use every now and then. Mm. More than anything, I love the pump mechanism and I love the way it smells. This is a velvet dress that I got from Boohoo. Um, I purchased it last year. So I don't know if it's still on the website. I'm wearing it with this clutch. This is actually a free gift with purchase from Killian. Uh, I got a Killian fragrance last year, but I think this was the one my mom got. So yeah, I'm wearing this as a clutch with my outfit. And let me show you the shoes. These are some of my favorite shoes aesthetically, but they are so uncomfortable because they are so cheap. And this is the reason why I like to invest a little more money in my shoes because these have no padding in the footbed. They're completely hard as rock. Um, they're just super, super stiff and uncomfortable. Also, the way the heel curves in, it's kind of like the heel is pushed up a little bit, so that's not really as comfortable. But I love them because they're simple, but they have nice, subtle touches that make them really nice. It is a suede heel. I like wearing suede shoes in fall and winter. I just think it's festive. I purchased these years and years and years ago um, when I was still living in New York. But any black shoe or a black shoe with gold accents would work. So yeah, this dress features like a faux wrap top. Um, it's connected at the side, so it's not a real wrap top. Long sleeves, it's a really nice silky fabric on the inside. It is a little hot, but um, I think velvet is just nice to wear for the holidays, no matter what climate you live in. But this is what the front looks like. It's definitely a sexier dress and revealing. It shows a nice amount of skin. This is what the back looks like. Um, it has this little piece here that crosses over. It's definitely not something I would wear to like a family holiday party. This is more so for like a friend's party that's like where you dress up. I just feel like for family options, I like to be a little more conservative and I do have an outfit to share with you guys for that. But I just thought this is the perfect outfit, especially with the little gold accessories. I think it just looks very nice and classy with a little bit of sass in it, but not over the top. Okay guys, this next outfit is more so something that I would wear to be around family. Um, I actually planned on wearing this this year for Christmas dinner. If this outfit looks familiar, it's because I actually hauled this 
in my fall fashion haul. I will link that down below. This dress was purchased from Shein and I love it. It's so flowy, it's so comfortable. It's perfect if you plan to eat a lot. I mean, let's face it, there are some holidays where you just want to be comfortable but also stylish as well. I did go up a size in this. I purchased this in a 3X because of the way the pleating went. I wanted you to still be able to see the pleating. Like if I would have gotten a 2X, it would have been a little tight in the bust area. And as you can tell, the pleats kind of disappear in the bust area because I am busty. So I'm gonna step back and let you guys see the full outfit. I love, love, love this piece. This is the length of this dress. This is what it looks like from the back. And if you can see, I'm wearing these Nine West booties. I love them once they're on, but getting them on is so difficult. <laughs> uh, but they're super comfortable when on. Like I said, when going to family functions, I like to dress a little more conservatively and very comfortably. I also decided to go with my Chanel walk. I just feel like it's perfect and classy. It's not too much. Um, but this is a nice, comfy, elegant piece that I really, really love. Just wanted to show you guys a close-up of the booties. I love the, the way the shoe is like angled. To me, you don't need to spend a lot of money on shoes, but they have to be constructed well. And Nine West always has really nice shoes. I tend to like all leather boots because they just wear better. The heel is really nice. There's like a half inch platform and they're like an almond toe, which is really, really pretty. And I think it's a more comfortable variation of like a point toe and you don't have to have something as comfortable and casual as like a round toe. So I really like these. These are called Robins. And I got these from DSW like four or five years ago. Love these booties. I've never worn them because I think I just need to stretch out the back heel part. But I love them and they're super, super comfy. So this is the third outfit. I love these boots. It's always hard for me to find even knee high boots. So the fact that these are over the knee for me, I just absolutely love. This is an oversized shirt dress from Boohoo Plus Size. I paired it with these biker shorts just to have it a little more covered up. This is what it looks like from the back. I just absolutely love this outfit. It's comfy, it's cute. This is what I would wear to like a game night. The boots are comfy enough. I love it. So this is what I would wear to something around friends, something casual, where I still want to look nice and put together. And I think the pochette Mati just complements this outfit well. But yeah, I just love this. It's just so comfy and warm. This is actually flannel, so you have a little bit of skin exposed, but you are still warm. And if it's a friend's party and it's a holiday party and you're drinking, you won't really be cold anyway. <laughs> Okay, so these are the boots. They are from Charlotte Russe, I believe. About a four inch heel. They are above the knee. They are rather cheap in quality and in price, but I knew for me to be able to get something that could fit these thighs, like this thigh leg situation, I wasn't gonna find that in anything that was too good in quality. Um, but this is not something I would wear all the time, so I don't mind having something that's a little cheaper in quality. I do like how the toe is a cross between round and pointed, so it looks okay. They are nice for the occasion, but definitely not something that's gonna take you into seasons and seasons. And I purchased these last year from Charlotte Russe. I was running through the city Target was a complete fail. There are too many people in there and I couldn't find what I was looking for. So, I'm gonna go to Bath and Body Works and see what I can find. It's never been this hard for me to find a gift for somebody. Like, I wanted to get my grandmother some pajamas or a robe, but she also lives in Miami and so they just didn't really have anything for her. And then it wasn't her style. And I didn't even check for my grandfather. Well, he's getting pajamas for my parents, so I didn't want to get him that. Okay, 
like it. Yeah, I'm I'm not going to Bath and Body Works. Where I am right now, it's not a mall. It's like an outdoor shopping center. And there's not a lot of parking. And yeah, I just, I don't have the patience for this while I'm still sick. So I'm going to go straight to Applebee's. And I will resume this journey during the week when there's not this much people out. Because yeah so this is what i came for it tastes like water <laughs> but that's okay <laughs> got a chicken for here roll up So now I feel the margaritas. So maybe they aren't like water. Maybe my taste buds aren't fully back. Cause I feel it now. <laughs> Look at this baby. I used to always get these when I was a kid. I have to get one of these like once a year. Okay guys, I am leaving Applebee's. I'm going to end the vlog here. That way when I get home, I can just edit this and then relax because I don't want to overdo it today. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Going kind of shopping with me, going out to eat with me, and me sharing my holiday um, outfit ideas. I had a lot of fun doing that. It was a lot of work, <laughs> especially when you can't breathe, but I had a lot of fun. I'm full. I didn't eat all of my dessert or all of my um, wrap because whenever I'm sick, I don't have like a really big appetite, but I still wanted to get out and do something halfway fun. And I really did have a good time. Um, I don't know if I would recommend the Applebee's Jolly, the Jolly Rita. I mean, it's cute, but um, I don't know. They're, they're not strong drinks, of course, because they are a dollar. So just keep that in mind. But it's cute if you want to go out and have something festive. But um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I'm going to go home and relax. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. No more staying in bed being sick. We are getting up and getting out and having a great time. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.